I am on my way home. Starbucks is still not open by the hotel. I had to go to the track this morning. I had to qualify some horses. Look, it stopped pouring rain. It was so cold here today. Freezing cold. Like uh, three degrees maybe. Snow and rain. I had my summer suit on. I almost froze to death. It was crazy. So the Starbucks by the hotel was closed. I stopped on my way home in a place called Mayfield Heights. Nice place. Little tiny Starbucks. I just pulled right in there with this truck and trailer. And as I pulled in, I said to myself, how are you going to get out? Because there was, it was a small little, it was a busy road. Anyway, it took me a minute, but I get in. Um, on my way back home now, uh, you know, I gave everybody an update yesterday, but that was before George raced, before Mama Knows Best raced. Yes, Mama Knows Best made a break. I saw it. Thank you. Um, Holy Chick was good. Made a couple little tiny equipment changes with her going into next week. But for the most part, tough filly. Race good. Still chewing. She hits her left jack. Gets at it sometimes. A little shoeing adjustment with her today. Maybe that'll work. But she raced good. Raced really good. Then Mama Knows Best made a break. And, you know, Luke Eversall's a good kid. You guys, you know, a lot of people are saying, oh, you should have drove the Philly. Of course, I got five messages right after the race. You know, you should have drove the Philly. Thank you, Captain Obvious. I believe I could have driven her also. Problem I ran into was I was trying to do the right thing. You can't win for losing in this game. You know, here Luke did a great job qualifying her. We'll put Luke on her. Why does Anthony need to drive her when the guy that qualified her and did good with her is right there? Luke makes a break. Now, Luke, because he's a good guy, felt terrible, felt horrible. And you could see the way he drove GW Chrome. Left out of there with him. The five was the horse to beat. He didn't want to get in a speed duel with him. So what did he do? Drag him back into the four hole. Now you got a, now you got a decision to make. Stay in the four hole, get locked in, or come first over with him. As a driver, Luke has to come first over. As an owner and a trainer, I wouldn't have. But... Again, that's hindsight. Maybe I would have. Who's to say I wouldn't have? So I felt bad for him last night. I felt bad for us. Obviously, when I'm sitting in the bar with a beer in my hand watching Mama Knows Best make a break, I'm not so thirsty anymore. You know, I'm a little angry. But those things happen in horse racing, and I was not exempt today. You guys saw that. I, somebody messaged me last night and said, you know, get over it. George E.W. Crumb didn't race bad. I'm not crying about it. And um, Mama Knows Best made a break. Okay, so she doesn't make the second leg. She's going to make the Buckeye. There's no big hurry. We'll qualify her next week. But irregardless, 30 days, flat line, 30 days, she's going to race in the Buckeyes. Not the end of the world. Get up today. Freezing cold. And I mean cold. Well, it was just snow, rain mix. So somebody asked me yesterday, hey, um, um, you know, how much are you going to go with my jazz? 57 and 3, I said. Just like that. I went 58 flat in the freezing cold today, which was a good mile. And make no mistake, the filly that won it, don't know if we can beat her anyway. She's a good filly. That's a filly that beat us almost every start last year. I beat her in, in, ju in the uh, ju Jugette day, but she wasn't trotting great that day either. This filly's a nice filly. Crosses over, I saw him coming, I let him go. I said, good, I'm gonna get a crack at you. I'm gonna sit in behind you. He drove away from me down the lane. Now, to be fair, uh, my Jazz, her trajectory to the races this year was train down, train down, train down, train down, train down. School good, qualify, scope sick, tie up, bleed, be put on the Lasex program, trained five days ago, four, four or five days ago at 59 and then qualify not what you would call ideal. Whereas Celebrate With Me, I believe that's her name, Celebrate With Me, probably train down, train down, train down, train down, train down. Good mile, a couple of good miles. School maybe, good qualifier. 58, 28 and a piece on the end of it. Closing on the end of it, look good. And then come out today and uh, went a big mile, 57 and one on a cold day. It's a big mile for her. Obviously he's headed to the Scarlet Gray, same as I want to be. So we assume we're going to get, hope we hope we got an invite, but I would say that Philly got an invite for sure. Um, 
So a good mile from my jazz. You know, you couldn't really ask her for more. That's what she had in her today. You know, we'll run some fluids in her and keep her sharp. Sculpt her, clean as a whistle afterwards. So great. On the right track. Still a couple of weeks of heavy lifting and hard work behind the filly that beat us today. That's assuming we can beat her. No slouch. She's one of the three best fillies in Ohio. Easy. Herculisa is one. Burke's filly, the other one. Kurt Suggs filly. Three best fillies in Ohio. Ours is there. She's one of them. She's as handy as anybody, just not as overly strong. Put them beside those fillies. You can see why. She's a small filly and works her butt off. Good for her. So, a good qualifier for my jazz. Now, the concerning part of this morning was White Tiger. Historically, when White Tiger was in with horses he should beat, he looks good. I got away in the two hole behind a horse that I knew was just so so. Tiger was getting a little grabby, and he's made breaks before. Following. Just looked to his last line at Mohawk. I moved him out of the back down the back stretch out of the two hole, blew by the leader. Usually when you put a move on them like that, he'll come he'll come screaming out of the turn. We came out of the turn, I can feel him soften up. Soften up, soften up. I don't know why. And then he just rolled into a break. Like he hurt himself. So I was really worried. Now, he pulled up fine. Seemed fine after. I could look down. I saw his elbow boots were marked up. Brand new elbow boots marked up. So we had for Dre. Regardless of what I'm about to find out from the vet, that has to be rectified. Can't have that. So, um, the entire way back from the track to the burn is pavement if you go around the outside. So I did. I wanted to see if I could see any ginger steps out of him any soreness, any ouch, you know, as he hit the ground, hit that pavement. None. Seemed fine. Got him back to the burn. Seemed fine. Had the black, had the, the blacksmith shoe him as he was pounding the nails into his feet. No reaction. No soreness. The vet walked in. Had the vet go all over him. Yeah, a little tightness hawks, a little tightness back. One plus one equals two. Not shocked. He said, but Anthony, nothing really serious for a racehorse. So, honestly, I don't know why he was acting like that today. I don't know why he made the break. I can usually always tell you why a horse made a break. And with him, I don't know. Could it be that he was just hitting his elbows that was stinging him? Yeah. I suppose you could, yeah. It's possible. So, I'll take him to, uh, we have to return, the two fillies. We'll get to that in a second. Had three schoolers today. Um, I'll start with the schoolers. Had three schoolers today. Uh, one, my heart Hanover, Billy Davis went with her and just smoked them. Wire to wire, I think, 59 last quarter, last half, 58 last quarter, 28 in a piece. He said she was awesome, his words. So, I'm going to try and talk James McDonald into coming to drive a Glare M. If he doesn't, I'll drive a Glare M. And Billy Davis will drive one, my heart Hanover in the final next week in Pennsylvania. A Glare M was very good. I didn't go a mile 58 with her. I went a mile 2-4. Last half, 58, last quarter, 29 seconds. She was very, very good. So very impressed with both of those fillies. Frilly fringes today. She was in the schooler with me. She ended up going a mile two five, last half in a minute, last quarter, 29. Everybody scoped clean. Uh, Frilly fringes had a little tiny bit of white stuff, just a tiny little bit, not that shocking, in her airway. We're going to race Frilly fringes here. Look at this firm. Oh, wow. That's nice. Where this is, but it's a nice place. Man, that's a big property. Um, so, Frilly Fringes uh, was fine. We'll race her in the maiden next week. Uh, one, uh, one, my heart, Hanover and Aglarium will go to Pennsylvania on Tuesday because I'm going to ship White Tiger down and qualify him Tuesday at the Meadows. Now, still don't have a place. I'm still homeless, Anthony. Still don't have a place for myself or my family, uh, for sure, in Ohio. Haven't secured a place yet. Worst case, I suppose we live in a hotel for a couple of days. Uh, we're just trying to find a spot to rent. Um, 18 horses are coming here Saturday and Sunday. I sent that list out. Gave you guys a list yesterday of who is heading to Ohio. We will have somewhere around 44, 45 horses in Ohio next week. And more horses on the way shortly thereafter. We couldn't bring any more because we could only bring as many as we had help for. Makes sense. I don't want to be laying people off in Ontario. If I have to, I will. Luckily, I haven't had to yet. 
our caretakers that were taking care of those horses. I've talked them into, not a bad salesman, I talked them into coming to Ohio. So our caretakers from Canada are now coming to Ohio with our horses, their horses, um, which allows us to not have to work to find help, which you can't find over here. And it allows me the opportunity to not have to lay people off. So I guess that's a good a silver lining of everything that is going on um, right now. So um, that is what's up right now. An, an unfortunate break from White Tiger Day. I really can't tell you why. I don't know why it's not like him to make a break in that situation. Um, a great qualifier from my jazz, 58 on a cold, cold day. Good for her. And then the three Philly school good. Philly Fringes school good. Won my heart Hanover was exceptionally good. And a Glarium was good also. So a great day of schooling and qualifying today. Um, I'm coming back tomorrow with my car and I have to bring one of our caretakers back. She's 18 and she doesn't have uh, her driver's license. So I have to. She can jump in with me tomorrow. I'll be right back after that to get my family on Saturday. Race here Saturday night. <laughs> try and find something to hold on to in that time frame. So just an insane, uh, an insane four or five days coming up for me, but I'll do what I have to do to make sure this works itself out. So that's what I am doing the next four days. Hope you guys are having a, uh, a good week. It has been a horrible week from us. We've got Italian grit to the winner's circle. Got a lot of horses qualified in school. Yeah, Mama knows best made a break. We'll get her squared away. We'll probably even put the hobbles on her next week. Yeah, White Tiger Run. Not the first time. Won't be the last. We'll get them straightened away and get them racing. But no um, no horrible news. No horrible news. So uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. I hope everything is going good with you. It's going okay. I'll be home by 7 o'clock tonight. Back here again tomorrow. So take care. Stay healthy. Talk to you soon.